Hey, welcome back to my Christmas special countdown on Tuned In. I'm Josh the Fox Mills, and if you're just joining us, what's wrong with you? Go back and watch the other episodes. I could use the ratings. We are down to the final ten. Here we go. The He-Man and She-Ra Holiday Special. This one's hardly a Christmas classic to most people, but I really like this extra long episode of He-Man. And it was requested to be on this list by somebody. It is the gift of Skeletor! You're welcome! Get a job! Anyway, it's a fun little romp of an adventure, and tries to give a positive message. It even gave Skeletor a tiny redemption angle. I hated it! It wasn't my best moment! Merry Christmas, Bonehead. Whatever. Ziggy's Gift. A very obscure special this time as we look at an old comic strip icon, Ziggy. Made in 1982, Ziggy's Gift has a simple but heartwarming tale of Ziggy taking up a job as a street Santa to raise money for the poor, along with his dog Fuzz. He is surrounded by crooked Santas, sneaky thieves, and a rather suspicious cop. Yet, despite the trouble, Ziggy remained honest and kind. Also, Brian has a Ziggy tattoo on Family Guy, but that's hardly relatable to this. Bugs Bunny's Looney Christmas Tales In 1972, CBS aired a Looney Tunes special for Christmas with three new holiday cartoons, one of which was a loony version of the Christmas Carol. The other two shorts were Freeze Frame and The Fright Before Christmas. At this time, most of the cast was still voiced by the legendary Mel Blanc. However, two of the roles were played by June Foray, perhaps the world's oldest still active voice actress at the age of 99. Fun fact, she was also the voice of Rocky the Flying Squirrel in Rocky and Bullwinkle, and still is. In the interest of cartoon history, and knowing that with the loonies, it was always a little bit fun, this is a special worth your time to hunt down and check out. The Cricket on the Hearth. A Rankin and Bass production again, but this time, it's an adaptation of another Dickens book. This version of The Cricket on the Hearth was created in 1967. The special has a slightly altered plot compared to the original book. A talking cricket helps an impoverished toy maker and his daughter, who has been blinded after hearing that her beloved is lost at sea. That's a bit of a bummer for a Christmas cartoon, isn't it? As usual with this sort of thing, though, everything turns out for the better just in time for Christmas, and although things might not be ideal, it is still the gift of family and the warmth of the season that matters. The warmth being a metaphor, of course. Winter. A Charlie Brown Christmas. Good grief. You knew this one was coming, didn't you? Charlie Brown becomes depressed during the holidays. Well, more so than usual. The over-commercialism of the season has got him feeling down, and it is suggested that maybe directing a Christmas play might help him feel better about the situation. The rehearsals seem to be a disaster, and insisting on a real tree for the play, the only one Charlie could find was a small sapling. Almost completely laughed out of the building, Charlie sets out to prove the humble tree can work in the play, and he decorates it with a large ornament that makes the tree droop. So much, he thinks he killed it and runs off depressed. Charlie Brown's friends finally pull through as they gather around the tree and do their best to try to make it work after all. It's a highly underestimated special, full of depth and meaning that should be appreciated. Much like this sapling, it doesn't look like much on the surface, but it stands out against the bright lights and glamour of the other specials and says something powerful in its lack of flash. I put this one here because it felt like a good capper before number five. And we're in the final stretch. Next week, it's Christmas Eve, and I'm going to finish this up with the top five Christmas specials. Until then, my friends, stay tuned, and happy holidays.